actually taping live at the Investors United School of Real Estate in Baltimore, Maryland. And here with me I have the pleasure of introducing Mr. Steve Payne, who is an interesting gentleman in himself. And he's going to tell us a little bit about his background and how he got started and uh, where he is now in the real estate industry. So Steve, hello. Hi, how are you doing? Okay, and you? I'm doing good. All right, let's talk about your past background as uh, and being an entrepreneur and uh, where you are today. Okay, well, I as we talked earlier, I have a pretty varied background. Mm -hmm. I've uh, had businesses uh, going a long way back as I had an interior design business that mm -hmm. we did uh, not only interior, commercial interiors and home interiors, but we also did uh, commercial aircraft, private aircraft, and boats and yachts. Uh, I was in that for some period of time and then I got into a, uh, went back to school and got a master's degree in business and also a PhD in international relations. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, I have been a vagabond for a long time. <laughs> After I got out of the service, I bought a brand new Land Rover and was mm -hmm. going to drive around the world and I did it started off with $400 oh my gosh, and wow. I had to work my way around the world so mm -hmm. you have to be pretty uh, industrious in order to, to uh, work your way, uh, to around, work the your way around the world mm -hmm. and I ran some commissaries for the military in mm -hmm. Turkey and in Spain and I've been as far uh, across the, the country as Burma or Myanmar now and I had mm -hmm. to turn back and come back because wow, of the Myanmar now. Yeah, yeah. because of the uh, situation that at that time was in a civil war. Um, I've had many, many different uh, other entrepreneurial areas. I was mm -hmm. once uh, a partner in a, a convention florist business here in Baltimore. Convention florist. We okay. were the we were probably the forerunners in that business. And uh, what's a convention florist do? Well, every convention and meeting that comes to Baltimore and to Washington D.C., mm -hmm. they now rent. Everything from boutonnieres and corsages to ferns and and potted mums, all the way to six foot fica trees. And you can rent flowers. Oh, you can rent them all. <laughs> wow. The flowers you don't rent, okay. but the all the all the large uh, fica trees and the mm -hmm. all the palm trees that you see in the ferns, you can you can rent all those, and they decorate their wow. entire booth with those. Mm -hmm. So it was a very lucrative well, that's ingenuity, business. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it sure mm -hmm. is. Because before us, there was nobody doing that, mm. uh, and it became a business where we could make $30,000 $30, net profit on a large show in Washington, D.C., like mm -hmm. the Communication Network, just renting plants and flowers. And you're not still doing that? Uh, no, that that uh, business got overrun by a lot of people who wanted in it, and mm -hmm. they started making offers to associations that were way beyond their means, and many of those people are out of the business now. Mm -hmm. So there was, th we got competition coming out of the woodwork who were <laughs> undercutting all of our prices and we finally right. said, well, we've, we made our money so we'll move on. Mm -hmm. um, after that, uh, I got a, a job, which was a bad thing for me to do, mm -hmm. with a uh, behavioral health uh, HMO down in Columbia. And uh, I lasted for about five years there before I finally said, I'm not made out to be a worker. I'm yeah. an entrepreneur. Yeah, and you know, you bring about a good point. And I want yeah. to say, uh, piggybacking on your last point, as a business person or entrepreneur, you have to know when to make your money and get out of the game. That's right. That's so, right. And uh, also understand what it's like to be an entrepreneur and go in the work field. It's hard when you're used to being your own boss. That's right. To go back on the other side to... You know, not saying that we can't, mm. but work for other people because our mindsets are completely different. And it's not to say we can't work for other people or that we won't. We just don't think the same. I That's think right. entrepreneurs just have a completely different brain and we're just wired I different. I agree. Yeah. And uh, there are many people who uh, would advise you, like the Small Business Administration and mm -hmm. other people like that, that if you are going into your own business, make sure you have two or three years of income mm -hmm. uh, behind you to do that. I've never done that. Right. I, I don't know anybody <laughs> who does small business, sells uh, people that all you, the time. Yeah, I know. But if you <laughs> just get in there and get started, then yeah. that's the way. So after I quit my job at the in the corporate field. <laughs> right. I, I pulled out a course that I had bought 
mm -hmm. about real estate. And I started going through that course. And mm -hmm. the first thing they said was find yourself a real estate investment club that you can associate yourself with. And mm -hmm. of course, I found the one that Charlie Parrish owns here, the Real Estate Exchange. Mm -hmm. And I went to that uh, exchange. And the next day, uh, they had a free class here at Investors United. Okay. And I was invited to the free class the next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Now, I just want to say something real, real uh, important here is because this is a time when you can really sabotage yourself. I had been driving just uh, back and forth from Columbia mm -hmm. to my house in Glen Burnie for such a long time that I almost didn't come to the meeting or to the class because <laughs> it was all the way on the other side of the beltway and it was during traffic. And that could have been my demise. And that is when, you know, and people do miss opportunities. They do. Yeah. And they yeah. do so mm -hmm. uh, by themselves. They sabotage themselves when they do that mm -hmm. by not going yeah. ahead and following through with what they want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, there are so many things that can come up that makes it easy to say, oh, no, I can't I do this. Go. Yeah, yeah, I can't mm -hmm. go or mm -hmm. I shouldn't go or mm -hmm. something like that. Anyway, the first night uh, that I was here with uh, at the free class, I enrolled in the program, Investors United.